Hi, my name's Aaron Hilton. I've been working in solar power for 10 years now. Solar power in Australia uh, represents a fantastic opportunity uh, to reduce uh, the costs of owning a home. Energy costs have continued to rise over the years. They've got a lot of market attention. The governments don't seem to really know what they're doing. Prices continue to rise and ultimately um, the buck stops uh, when you pay your power bill and you have to fork out the extra money for the higher energy costs. Because solar has come down in price now significantly, you've got retailers offering very good feed-in tariffs. That's where you export energy that you don't use to the grid and you receive a credit for it. Solar represents a fantastic investment. Often we'll see residential solar installations with a 40% return on investment. That means it pays for itself a little over a couple of years. Even homes that are unoccupied, um, with no energy usage to speak, and just ex exporting all of their extra energy, can still see a five-year return on investment. That's a 20% return on your money on a solar system that should easily last 10, 15, 20 years if you've installed a quality system. What that means is uh, worst case scenario, if the house was empty, say you went away on holiday, you'd still be getting a 20% return on your solar system. Uh, whereas if you're in the house using energy during the day, uh, that investment return will be far better. And this is why we're seeing a lot of people purchasing solar today. Australia is awash with sunshine, as we know. That means your solar system will produce a lot of energy and really drive down your energy costs. And I'm sure you'd like to see that money going towards your family rather than uh, one of the big energy companies.